Hey guys, today I want to do a comparison video of a couple of products I picked up. Uh, one's the Lucy Outdoor Pro 2.0 Solar Inflatable Lantern. The other one that I'm comparing it to is the Luminade Packlight Max. Both of these have the ability to charge your devices with built-in battery cells, which is really, really handy. And they both are solar, so an emergency situation could set them out in the sun and recharge them. So let's dig into the specs and see what we got here. So first off with the specs is the Lucy Outdoor Pro 2.0 model. This has four modes of brightness. They're claiming 150 lumens, a 2000 milliamp battery. Uh, it's very lightweight, it's waterproof, it operates in all kinds of temperature extremes, 15 degrees Fahrenheit to 122. Um, it fully charges, they say in 12 to 14 hours, they both kind of claim that. And then you can plug in a USB cable and charge it just within a few hours. Now let's take a quick look at the Luminade Packlight Max 2-in-1 phone charger solar light. Uh, this one basically basically has the same specs. 150 lumens, 12 to 14 hours in bright sun to recharge. You can recharge this one with micro USB, which we'll get to in a little bit. 50 hours max runtime, same as, as the Lucy and uh, says that it'll charge devices up to 5 volts 2 amp output. They also make a little bigger brother to this one which will have a 4000 milliamp battery uh, a little bit more money but should be able to charge higher voltage devices. Uh, fire up 5 brightness settings and a pretty big square area around it for illumination. I found the Lucy to have about the same size solar panel as the Illuminate uh, they both include little hooks for hooking on the top and the USB charging ports always on the top of one side. The other side, we've got a clear material versus a frosted material in the Luminate. That makes a little bit of difference depending on what you're looking for. The one thing I did find with the Lucy Outdoor Pro is expandability. Um, getting it to expand and inflate, you can't really just pull it apart. You actually have to squeeze the bite valve which has a pretty good bite valve in there. Takes a little bit of patience, but you can get it inflated fairly quickly um, compared to the Luminade. The Luminade, actually, they just released a video just a couple of days ago from the time I was shooting on the proper way to inflate the Luminade. So on the top of this one, you have your USB plug that you can use to recharge the device. You've got two adjustments for the hanging hook which is nice if you're going to hang it over a branch or something at your camp. It's really handy. One thing that I found a con was the charging. Two to three hours to charge it up, but it's USB to USB cable. It's not a typical cable I have around my house. I found that a con. To you it might not matter, but it's one more cable I have to throw in my bag. Another thing to think about. On the front here you push this button and you get your full charge indicator. Four lights and they go down in quarters has four modes of brightness so you have a low, a medium, a high and a flash every one second, a blink mode. So one of the things I found with the uh, Lucy was the difficulty of the bite valve. It's a little bit stubborn, uh, it's hard to push in. The first ever Lucy I bought uh, I actually cracked that top plastic ring around the top of the thing because I was trying to tuck it in and the plastic just gave away and cracked it. Did it affect the light? No. But as you can see here, it's very difficult to get that thing in and to get it to seal properly. I found it deflating if I didn't get it absolutely in properly. Now let's look at the Luminade. It has a USB out and also a micro in to charge it up in two to three hours. I found that a big bonus as I have micros around the house. And you have to remember up here in this corner to press this button once you plugged your USB out to charge your device the battery indicator would go down in quarters to let me know how much charge I have. Now this is important. You see the battery circle slash mobile device next to it. You have to press that button in order to get an output charge. That is very important or you're going to find out your devices are not charging. Is it a plus? Is it a minus? I don't know. But that's how they designed theirs versus the Lucy. The Lucy you plug it in and it starts charging your device right away. You don't have to push any kind of button. So on the far right, there's a sun indicator with some circles around it, meaning the device is taking in light 
to recharge the battery. I don't particularly care for the feature. I don't need a light to, to tell me that. Some people might like that feature. Uh, your mileage may vary. So the pack light has a cord just on one side, not on both. I found these little snaps to come off way too easy. They didn't give a nice good click when they would get pressed in uh, together. Uh, unlike the Lucy where when you pushed them together they had a really good positive click and you knew they were snapped together. These seem to pull apart really easy. Now that can be remedied with using a chip clip or something else to hang it in a tree or clip it to something if you feel like it's going to come apart. But it's just one of those things that I just didn't care for. I wish they would reinforce these and make them a little stiffer. But you have three settings, so you can put it around something a little larger than what the Lucy could. The Lucy's were a little tighter to the device, and there wasn't as much of a strap there to be able to hang it in a tree or hang it around something that was a little bit larger in size. Next thing is how fast you can set these up. By pulling this apart and twisting it quarter turn, it slowly will start to inflate itself. This is something I learned on one of their videos that they just released on YouTube. Which was pretty handy. It could about halfway inflate without me having to even blow any air into the valve. Then all I needed was a few puffs of air and the thing was fully inflated. Pretty handy feature. Made it a lot more convenient than having to struggle with trying to squeeze open a bite valve and to get a good flow of air in there and end up putting a lot of humidified air inside the solar lantern. So the bite valve has a smaller pull tab on it and that I found to be a positive. I could tuck the, dev the bite valve into the device really really easily and there was nothing there that was not allowing me to press it and recess it in so it was nice and flush. I found that a positive over the Lucy's longer pull tab which is easier to grab to pull it out of the lantern but it made it more of a pain to try to seal it up. On the Luminade it has five settings. It starts out on high and then goes down from there with the last setting being a blink flash mode which is driving my camera nuts. Um, I found it to be very bright. Uh, I love the frosted globe on this. It gave a lot better area light, which I'll show you in some future dark room shots here coming up. But the overall brightness was uh, very impressive. So I found the Luminade to have a little more area light, where the Lucy light had a little bit more of a spotlight when it was just sitting on a picnic table. Uh, I took this com camping to do some comparisons. I also just put it in a dark room and uh, used it that way. And I'll show you in some night shots coming up here of what I mean by the projection of the light out of the lantern. So I did not do any long-term testing on both of these as far as charging up a mobile phone per se. Uh, they both did well when I tested them. They're designed to be in a car kit or survival kit to get you enough of a charge to get out of that situation. If you need more juice than that, I would go and buy a battery bank. Not recommended using these like a battery bank. All right, let's get to some night shots. Let's see what kind of light these put out. So first off, you got the battery indicator, the button on the right on the Lucy gives you brightness. Now, as you can see, just shining it on my tabletop, putting it up to high, you got a great amount of light coming off that. Um, it, it has a nice wide beam, but it's very much more directional with the very clear plastic of the lantern. I definitely could tell picking it up um, and aiming it down at a table or whether I aimed it straight up at the sky, it was very much directional lighting. And I think that's due to its clear plastic versus having a frosted plastic. As you can see you can easily point it at something. If you need to look at your electrical panel, you needed to check out something in the middle of the night and point it at something directionally, this is definitely the better light for that. So let's take a look at the Luminade on high in a dark setting. As an area light, this was a great light. It's my favorite by my nephews. Um, it's very, very bright. It produces a fair amount of light around it. So if you're trying to prepare food or you're playing cards, this was a great light to have out on the picnic table. And this light doesn't have as much of a spot. As you can see in this demonstration, it's more of an area light, a very soft area light all the way around. It, it does not have a, per se, hot spot right in the center. Um, 
from the center of the device. It's completely different than the Lucy. And I think that, like I had said before, I think that's due to the frosted plastic versus the clear plastic. So which one is better? You're probably wondering which one I decided on. Well, after much deliberation and testing, they're both great lights. I have to say that up front, you can't go wrong buying e either of these products. So here's just a few pros and cons that I came up with for both of these lights. So starting off with the Lucy, it lasts a long time on medium. I really like that. That's typically what I run my lights at. And the Lucy light ran a long time on medium. Second pro would be the hooks on both ends. The Lucy has hooks on both ends. It's really nice. No matter which way you want to hang it, you have options. Third thing would be a pro or a con, depending on what kind of light you're looking for. But it has a nice spotlight effect. So if I'm hanging it above a picnic table to play cards, this is a great light for that. And for cons, the USB cable. I don't care to carry a USB to USB cable. I really wish, like the Luminade, they would have used micro USB. Just a small thing for me. And another con for me was the lack of a frosted lens. I really was looking for more of an area light than more of a kind of spotlight. So to me, that was a con. So some of the pros for the Luminade product were definitely number one was micro USB in my mind. Having a micro USB cord, which a lot of phones use, uh, a lot of other products use, smaller devices use, was a huge plus. One less cable I have to bring uh, when I'm out camping. Second would be that the Luminade was a lot brighter, had better area lighting. And that's what I was looking for, something I can lay on a picnic table, uh, I can put up by the campfire and I have a, a wide area coverage of lighting. So it was a lot uh, easier to see things around me. And the last thing was easier to inflate and deflate. This thing was really easy as like I said, you can partially inflate it just by pulling it apart. And then deflating it was just as easy. It didn't have to fight the bite valve like I did the Lucy. Now a couple of the cons I had with the Luminade. The biggest thing was probably the strap doesn't stay connected real well. It constantly wanted to pull apart. It didn't have a very positive uh, click when you'd connect it. So it wasn't as convenient as what the Lucy was. The Lucy had a very positive connection. So you knew it would stay together real well and not fall apart easy. Price has definitely got to be a con. These lights are very comparable. For the extra $15, is it worth it? That's up for you to decide. So the last con I have is it didn't last as long run time. I like to run my lanterns on medium to get the longest life out of them. It definitely did not last as long as the Lucy. So which light did I go with? Well, I had to tip my hat towards the Luminade. Um, the ability to charge micro USB was huge to me. Um... Not quite as long a run time. I love the frosted globe. Like I said, that was huge for me. So I went with the Luminate product. Well, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you learned something. If you got any comments or questions, put them down below. I'll see what I can do to answer them. But like I said before, these are both great products by great manufacturers. So go out and get yourself a solar inflatable lantern. It's a great addition to any home kit or car kit. Thanks for watching. See you later.